Introducing first in the blue corner, this man represents ABT. He hails from Gainsborough and he makes his professional MMA debut this evening. Introducing Rico It's main event time people, CSFC 16. This is what the fighters want. That's it. <laughs> this is what the fans want. This is what we're all here to see. In the blue corner, we've got Rico Franco from AVT. And in the red corner, we've got Richard Herbert from CMMA. This is the first professional bout for both guys. Three five minute rounds. And we're off with a start. I'm Harry Strutt. Beside me, commentator, we've got Wayne McKenna. Oh, Wayne. All right, all right, we're on. Rico versus Herbert. Main event. Yeah, we've watched these guys grow in the amateur career. Been on many, many, many shows. Massive power coming in from Rico. Yeah, beautiful right hand there by, uh, by Herbert. Been a lot of banter going back and forth between both these fighters, both the camps. Both looking excellent shape. Yeah, interviews. This is main event. We're a capacity crowd here tonight at the Dome in Doncaster. These guys are the reason that the uh, the crowds are so loud. That it's packed out. 2,000 people here. Dominic the promoter's done a cracking job at this event. Oh, it's a body shot. Shot to the body, shot to the head. Massive combinations coming in from Rico Franco. Yeah, Franco's landing good. He's got some very underestimated boxing, but Herbert is a very skilled fighter too. Gets to take down. Yeah, he's gone. He's got a single leg. He's taken Rico to the ground. Rico looks comfortable. Herbert is a very well-rounded fighter. Both guys come from very good camps. Rico's Deep guillotine. guillotine. Is it deep enough? I don't think he's just trying to push him against the fence. He's locked him down round to try and get him, but I don't think it's going to be enough leverage on his legs. No, he's not got it. Craig Lawrence, referee, keeping an eye on the action. He needs to be careful now, though, as Herbert's got his uh, head to the mat. He's got possibility of moving his head up. Oh, no. I'm going to say he could have got a head and arm choke. Elbow from Herbert. Yeah, we can see now. With a professional fight in MMA, we'll have the elbows. And we've got long rounds. We're into five-minute rounds. <laughs> yeah, five-minute rounds and elbows. God damn. Yeah, God damn, we got a sub fight. <laughs> We've seen Herbert with this sort of style before. He's got a very controlling, smothering style. Really puts the grind on. Herbalizer likes to grind. See Rico trying to uh, turn into his opponent. Both really experienced fighters. Been in this position many times. Sick. Herbert looking to lock the arm of Rico. Yeah, he's looking for a Kamara, but Rico's managed to take his back, but he's still in danger. Rico's being turned. He's still got the Kamara on. Rico needs to be very careful. He turns the wrong way, he's going to be a broken shoulder. In deep there. Requiring to fight his way out of this one. Yeah, we've yep. seen him roll a couple of times, like I say. That is a bad shoulder bend. He's going to turn over now. He's got possibility for an arm bar. That is in deep. Massive deep, massive leverage. Smooth precision there, but Rico will get it up. He needs to stand up now and exit. My God, can there be a slam? He's going to pick him up. He needs to be very careful because if there's something wrong here, he's going to be a broken arm. He's out. Rico's looked and locked it. No, yeah, the armbar's still back on. He needs to put his elbow past the hip and he's out. Wow. Great technique by Herbert there. Transitioning from one submission to another. Herbert still thanks. Elbows. Wow. Now it's time for Rico to start unleashing some of his own assault. We've got ourselves a main event right here. CSFC 16. Beautiful head movement from Herbert. Yeah, beautiful head movement. 
Nice shots coming in from Rico. Front kick. I'm still cringing at the talk on uh, Rico's shot. Oh, he's landed the right hand! Landed the straight right, missed with the hook. Herbert's recovered. Yeah, Herbert, he, uh, he definitely felt it. Herbert's trying to force the opponent back now. He's walking up. Clever move, pushing his opponent against the fence. He'll be looking down to take the legs again and put his opponent on the back. Herbalazzi going for that single leg, attacking that single leg, lifting it. Rico doing well to defend. Yeah, you have to think as well, not only Rico were in a bad situation, but because Herbert didn't get the submission, he's burnt his arms as well. Yeah. It takes a lot of effort going for this sort of stuff. Herbert working like a beast to try and get these submissions and dominant moves. Locking Rico up. Big elbow Beautiful attempt. Beautiful elbow over the top by Herbert. Wow, what a first round. What more can you want from the first round? Great display of MMA. We saw submission, submission and attempt. We saw escape. We saw massive shots. We saw the almighty beautiful elbows. And uh, we saw some great stand-up. That's it. Great first round. into the action, round two. Here we go again. Rico versus Herbert. Herbert closing the distance there, just now we've been missing, getting smashed by that big left hook. I think he'll want to put Franco back on his back again. Yeah, definitely. Franco's so dangerous with those Diaz hands. Herbert's not to be uh, sniffed at, he's got some good hands. I saw him previously in his amateur career, striking with people like Simon Sidniki, um, just landing. Yeah. This guy's good, like I say, he's, he Be is an MMA fighter, he, he's a mix of everything. Sweet boxing, sweet grappling. Yeah, fantastic grappling. Oh, he's got hit with that right hand. He managed to defend a few, he got hit with the right hand, got hit again. Beautiful held movement when he's down. He just needs to be careful. <laughs> Sneaky up and got it straight through. Rico needs to be careful when he's shooting. Got a takedown. Well timed takedown by Herbert. Nasty elbows. Yeah, we'll be looking to, to move back over to the uh, back over to the mountain again. Herbert grinding away for position. Yeah, you can see him putting the left knee through. He'll be looking to pass now. Beautiful movement there as he's using his head and his shoulders to stop the arm of uh, Rico Franco from trying to punch it. He's got the mount. Yeah, he's got the mount. This is, could be devastating when he starts landing some elbows. But Franco's on it. He's turned, he's given up his back. Franco needs to start moving quick. Herbert's got some excellent submissions as we saw in the first round. We can just try and twist out this one now. Referee keeping a close eye. Yeah, Franco's covering up. He's got the hand of Herbert to stop being choked, but it means that he's also then like uh, reducing his defence. Some great punches <laughs> coming in from Rico. Yeah, some uh, overhead blind punches going on. He needs to get rid of the hooks off his belly and then he needs to uh, either turn or, <laughs> well yeah, he needs to turn. He's got all rock'em, sock'em robots. It's like the old pride days. 
crazy position to fight from. He needs to be careful now, he's giving up the Edenham choke. Herbert positioning back to mount, landing a beautiful elbow. Rico giving up his back again. If he can stand up, Herbert's gone forward, he might be able to push him forward off, and he's only got one hook in now. Well recovered from Rico. Slams behind. I think that's why the fans like him so much, rather than trying to twist him off against the fence. That's he decided it. just to jump. We'll try it. Herbalizer not letting go. Yes, smothering performance at the minute by the Herbalizer. He's hooked in. He's hooked. Crowd calling for Rico. Massive ticket sales for both fighters. Herbalizer just putting the right hand across the face, not quite with the jaw. But he's got the left hand of Rico Franco. Now he's got the right hand of him locked, so he can just keep punishing away with those little shots. He's got the legs locked in so he can't fall off the back. He's just waiting to try and sink the choking. Fantastic grappling skills from Herbert. You can see Franco's trying to take the arm so he can try spinning that direction to turn, so then he'll be in the guard. Herbert's a smart guy, he's not letting him do it. Rico defending well. Yeah, these little shots are never big enough to finish a fight, but they're just there just to open up your opponents, then you can take the submissions to make you make him make a mistake. Both fighters well in the fight. Yeah, but it's shot right in as he's in. He looks as he gives a smile. He's allowed Ten the herb seconds to get remaining. It in. Can we write this out? Rico recovery. Yeah, the Rico recovery. Wow. Dominant second round there by the herbalizer. Got his opponent on the back and didn't give him air. Another grueling round. Massive five minutes of grind and gruel. Richard Herbert fighting out of Charles Martin MMA gym. Real submissions ex expert. Rico Bonbon bon, Diaz Franco fighting out of AVT. We know that Rico's been training for 14 weeks in a 14 week fight camp for this fight. He said in his interview, post fight interview, that he's looking for a knockout tonight. He's met a real formidable opponent in Richard Herbert. We're moving into our third and final five minute round in this main event here at CSFC 16. The crowd are going nuts. We're on. This is the final round. Five minutes left. Here was zero. I think we can agree. Mr. Rico Franco will be looking to keep it on the feet. Throw some heavy shots, mixing it up like he did previously. Just going to be have to be careful of those takedowns. Because the Herbalizer are going to be looking to put him back on his back and try to choke him out. Oh, I want it. He's doing a great job so far. Rico with his hands low. Nice shot to the body. Just be careful, there we go. With the takedown. You Jump. know the herbalizer is looking for that takedown. Yeah. But his, his boxing skills are uh, superb also. Good right hand there by Franco just getting through. Nice, nice punch from Rico. Yeah, he knew he was going to try a takedown, so he threw a short right. Short right straight and then a big uppercut behind it knowing that Herbalizer are going to go in for the takedown. And Herbalizer's locked onto that armor Rico. Yeah, he's going to try and get as much purchase on his Rico as he can to try and take him to the ground. Just be very careful so he didn't put the mat. Gets a 
single leg, turns a corner, runs him to the ground. See Rico trying to walk the wall, trying to try to push his opponent off. He's got his knees up so that Herbert can't try to put his right knee over and get into the mount position. Just keeping the position, waiting for Rico to make a mistake. Just landing the little elbows, the small punches, just trying to open up opportunities. Rico now to be careful. Potential armbar. Has he got it? No. Rico's got the opportunity now to back out and stand up. He just needs to be careful that he doesn't leave down behind. He's got a reverse triangle. He's got a reverse triangle, but I think he's going to use it to take his arm. All right, Kamara. Kamara in. We saw this in the first round, and Rico managed to get out. But this time, you have to think he's very tired. And very slippy, and he manages to get his way out. He had some big punches. Then we get to take down again. He pulls over, he looks like he's going for a banana split. <laughs> he's going for a twister. Oh, he narrowly missed it. Awesome. Him. You can tell that he trains with Danny Mitchell. <laughs> awesome job. You can hear, hear Franco's head echoing off the mat as he's trying to taunt his opponent on the ground. Nasty hammer fist coming down from Bateman. Real master hammer fist. The cut going checked. Transitions to the back as Franco goes up and he's going to be looking for another armbar. And he's out! Big hammer fist! The crowd goes wild as Rico tries to try and finish the fight, but he needs to be careful. He looks if he's going to go. Potential for a calf crush or a heel hook here. Might even just go for a straight knee bar. He's now got the back of. He's now got the back of Franco again, and he turns. Herbert's looking to get that hook in again. Herbert relentless in this fight. Yeah, he's waiting to finish. Ten seconds left. Franco's got his arms out as if to say, what are you doing? That's it. That's it. Main event over. <laughs> Rico Franco and his crowd breathing style may have just cost him the fight. We have some daft slams and some, uh, some crazy stuff. Herbert did what he did. He controlled the fight. He had uh, that smothering style to try and take Franco out of his game. And uh, it was very successful. Some good yeah. transitions between submissions as well. Good takedowns. Franco, always good to watch. Good fun to watch with his stand up. I like how mixing his boxing up. Going for the shots to the belly, shots to the head, throwing in the uppercuts. Fantastic fight again here at CSFC. And off we go to the judges. <laughs> Come on, ladies and gentlemen, that was a main event. Make some noise for that fight. There has to be a winner and there has to be a loser, though. We go to our judges who are lending. A unanimous decision for Richard Herbert. The outstanding for a gallant opponent in Rico Bob Bar.